Ladies and gentlemen, Source 2 is finally here. Technically, it's only in beta and only a few people are able to beta test it, but Valve just dropped a brand new trailer. So Valve tweeted this out. Players are selected for the Counter-Strike 2 limited test based on a number of factors deeming important by the Counter-Strike 2 development team, including but not limited to recent playtime on Valve official servers, trust factor, and Steam account standing. So if you play a lot of matchmaking, you have a chance to get in, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah, I don't. unfortunately, I don't have access to it, but hopefully they'll do like a bigger beta test before it drops but essentially let's check out the trailer leveling up the world so got some old dust too got some With old new 20 years Look at all of these. history maps are a fundamental pillar of counter-strike oh yeah of course of course yeah 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 definitely this is just old school dust too man in counter-strike 2 and lo look at this okay so just from this screen alone a lot of people were speculating that the game was going to look exactly the same but just based on this picture alone no that is not true maps are getting a new look look at this so this is overpass and it looks completely different don't worry you can still bring along your countless hours honing strategies and just look at this gameplay look at the molotov it looks so good did they change the default ak okay look at the layout it's very similar to the old one except ammo is right here you have whatever side you're on down here and then of course you have your armor and health right here and then money is all the way in the corner so it actually gives you more room to do whatever you want it gives you more room to see enemies exploiting every corner and crevice we took three approaches to improving maps while retaining their rich legacy. First, there are touchstone maps. Classic maps with solid foundations that- Oh my, <laughs> look at this, look at this. I've never seen upper tons look this good on Dusk 2. Players can use to evaluate- Oh my, look at this, look at Mirage. And the visibility seems to be even better than it was before. Wow. Gameplay ch- I, I just, I can't wait to actually play this. Changes from CSGO. Look at Underpass, bro. Move to Counter-Strike 2. And then, of course, you have Train with the improved lighting, with, like, you know, the better textures. Wow. These have improvements to lighting and character but other... Okay, dude, look at... <laughs> Look at Palace. Look at, you see the ray tracing right here? You have the reflections. Dude, that's tech. I just hope it's not too distracting. Honestly, it shouldn't be. Been changed. Look at this. Like, there's finally lighting effects in Counter-Strike, dude. That is nuts. Next, we have upgrades. Oh, upgrades. By the way, yeah, those, so those are just, yeah, they just kind of, like, enhance the maps a little bit. But these are the maps that have actually been upgraded. These are maps that use new Source 2 lighting, including a physically-based rendering system that... Dude, look at this. Nuke looks amazing, bro. Produces what? realistic materials like... Wait, hold up, hold up. Is this baggage? This is the spawn on baggage, dude. Lighting and reflections. Oh, okay. Ancient? Wow. Actually, it looks very similar to the original one, except there's some slight changes to, to the lighting. And finally, overhauls. Overhauls, yeah, baby. The okay. I think, yeah, this is Italy, and I've never seen the map look this good. Oldest maps have been fully rebuilt from the ground up, leveraging all of the Source 2 tools and rendering fees. Oh, dude, look at Overpass. Monster looks insane. What? Look at this. Like, there's so many more details, and of course, just everything looks way better. These tools will be available. Oh, and then here you go. Here's mid. Wow. Look at the difference. Just look at how good it looks. Available for community map makers to make it easier to build, experiment, and iterate. Oh yeah, of course. Yes, yes, yes. That's the biggest benefit of Source 2. Just the fact that there's a better map editor. So now when you actually want to make a map, you can make stuff that's way better. Plus, you can also mess around with physics more. Wait, and you can change the lighting? Oh, okay, that's huge. Upgrades to lighting. Play oh my, dude. <laughs> Look at this. Look at B site on overpass. You have the water down here, of course, with the with the lighting effects. You have the new and improved artwork all over the place. Everything has a whole new look to it. Player read and materials in Counter Strike 2. Even the wow. Familiar Honestly, Ancient is the one that just kind of looks the same. Wait a minute, I just realized this is Inferno. This is wow. It looks way different. Oh, Italy again. Counter Strike 2. Look at this. Okay, so here, let's, let's back up a little bit. So the Molotovs look better. The smokes also look cooler. Everything about it just looks significantly improved. That was a grenade that just blew up. Boom. Dippity boom. Got him with the op. Wait, hold up. What was... Hold up. Wait, the tracer on the op is... Wait, it is so visible. Like, I don't rem Like, I don't think it's ever been this visible before when you shoot with the op. And then, of course, better textures. Planting the bomb right here. Watch out for heaven. Guy could peek out. You should probably go a little bit forward 
so the heaven guy doesn't just pick you off, but I might just be nitpicking here a little bit. Lower, so it has all the profile pictures, and then it also has 3v2 to make it a little bit easier. So you can have your cake and you can eat it too. Oh, the Zeus is back. Wait, what? Okay, dude, when you Zeus somebody, it just turns them into Electrode from, from, from the amazing Spider-Man 2. All right, dude. And then just look at the lighting on B site on Nuke. Oh my God, it's so good. Wait, wait, hold up. Is this what happens when the Molotov goes off? Okay. Or that, that also could have been for cinematic effect. When are you going to release Counter-Strike 2? Ah, ah, ah. Summer 2023. So if you guys are excited for Counter-Strike 2, don't forget to drop a like. But of course, there's a few things that they didn't even mention in the trailer. They didn't talk about skins transferring over, which they're probably going to. There's no way that they wouldn't. And of course, they didn't mention 128 tick servers, but maybe that's coming later. But overall, though, I am freaking excited. So yeah oh my god let me know your thoughts down below stay safe everyone it's turbo and i'm out peace